the action set to continue on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Ariel Agami with Primo Bella Rosa. Our next fight coming up at 140 pounds. We go to Connor Hall to introduce our fighters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action out of the bantamweight division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, representing Rami Elite with a record of 10 and 3 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Furious George Pitsakis. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he represents Five Points Academy with a record of 12 and 8 from New York, New York, Dylan Juku. Fighters both know the rule. They're my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out, fighters. Five rounds at 140 pounds set to begin here between Furious George Pitsakis out of Rami Elite in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's on the left side of your screen wearing the black trunks with red gloves. He goes up against Dylan Joku. At a Five Points Academy here in New York City, he's wearing the black with green trim. Five round contest here, Ariel. So we'll, we'll see how quickly each guy wants to start. Pacing so critical in these longer fights, Primo. Both these guys have a lot, should have a lot in the tank, both 28 years of age. Both very experienced. Joku coming in at 12 and eight, and uh, Pistakis coming in at 10 and three. And he dumps Joku in the early going here, Pistakis has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder from his last fight. It was here on Friday Night Fights back in June. Lost a very close split decision to Ethan Geffen. And he is looking to get back into the win column in a big way here. Still bothered by that fight. He told me yesterday at the weigh-in. So he's looking to improve on that 10 and three mark. That was a very close fight that uh, Pitsakis had. He believes he edged it though, you know? I like to see a guy come in with a chip on their shoulder and want to get a little back. First time we've seen Dylan Joku here on Friday Night Fights since back in 2016, native of Trinidad and Tobago. Now calls New York home and good action in close quarters here from these two men. Last time uh, Joku fought on Friday Night Fights, it was a, a unanimous decision loss to the dog, Shannon Kildary. That's right. But it's fought several times since then to amass a 12 and eight mark at the Class B level. Again, this is the first of a scheduled five rounds between Pitsakis and Joku. Knees exchanged in the clinch here. And again, Pitsakis with the body lock overpowering Joku and slam, slamming him down. That's two body lock and drops from Pitsakis so far in the first round. Final 10 seconds here in round one. And there's your bell. Nice round out of Pitsakis. Impressive action here from both men. So again, Pitsakis fighting out of Rami Elite in Philadelphia, but of course, Rami Ibrahim, the legendary trainer and former fighter as well, comes from the Seton family, so he's recruited some help from his old pal Aziz Nabi in the corner. Let's take a look at some action here from round number one. and. There's that turn from Pitsakis right there. They'll get into the clinch, and what Pitsakis will do is, is he'll, he'll block a foot and then throw his turn, see? So he'll plant one foot, turn hard with his upper body, and then let his hips follow in, or, in order to take Joku down. And in a clo an otherwise close round, those types of moments loom in judges' minds. Absolutely, that, that shows dominance to the, in the judges' eyes. There's Pitsakis there on the left side of your screen. Meanwhile, Dylan Joku trained under the great Arjan Steve Millis at Five Points Academy in NYC. Round two underway. And again, Pitsakis anxious to get back into close quarters with Joku, where he was the dominant fighter in that position in round one. Yeah, I think Joku sensed that he wasn't active enough in that first round, starting to come out a little bit faster in this round. Forehead to forehead, Arpitsakis and Joku here. Kevin Mulhall breaks him up. Let's see if Joku can get a little distance here with Pitsakis. 
Tries the teep, but George keeps coming forward. Right back into the body line. Underhooks. Well, partial, one, one in, one, one under, one over. Yeah, over, under right there. See, now what'll happen is, uh, Joku, when they get into that clinch, on the side that he's got an underhook on, he'll throw like a, like a slap knee, a side knee. And Pisakis, what he'll do is he'll wait for that knee to come and then start to hit his turn. Leaving Joku on one leg, very hard to keep his balance. The other thing that'll happen is if you watch Joku's right leg when he gets pinned in, he'll take his foot and put it on the inside thigh of Pitsakis to try to push and make room. When he does that, Pitsakis will try to make that turn again and go for the dump. He's done it three times so far, three times so far in the first round and a half. Nice up elbow, another up elbow from Pitsakis. Impressive showing from Pitsakis thus far, you can tell. He is still thinking about that June fight and how he thought the judges did not treat him well that night against Ethan Geffen. Well, he doesn't want to leave anything to chance tonight. Final 10 seconds of round two. Joku with a turn there, but it comes at the bell. And that's your second round. Excellent. Very different second half of the round from the first half of the round there. Joku came out with more energy in the first round. By midpoint, Pisakis turned it around, came out you know, with higher energy in his own and to finish. So again, it was Pisakis. So now watch, see? That's, that's where Joku would throw that right slap knee, and Pisakis will turn him to his own right. And is it a Ladies problem of Joku just not getting enough on that Friday knee? Is he not getting enough, is doing enough with that leg to, to get Pitsakis' attention? No, it's, it's, not, it's 10, not exactly 15. the knee that Joku's throwing. So let all it's, your it's friends It's more know. the timing on Pitsakis' part. When you throw that knee, you're vulnerable for that turn and, and dump. It's not necessarily what Joku is, is doing wrong. It's more what Pitsakis is doing right in that moment. We'll see if that continues into round number three here. Again, Pitsakis wearing the all black with red gloves and arm and elbow pads. Joku in the black with green trim with the blue pads. Now what Joku needs to realize right now is that when they get into the clinch, Pitsakis is waiting for that moment to run the turn and dump. So he's got to stay away from that knee, basically. Nice body shot, lead body shot. Good sequence for Joku here to start round number three. Good combo at the top and then a good body shot. As my broadcast partner, Primo Velarosa referenced a moment ago, and here it's Joku exerting some dominance in the clinch. Snap leg kick by Joku. And he pulls in Pitsakis and lands a body shot. It's that up left elbow again from Pitsakis. He's found. He's found a, a, a chink in Joku's armor right there. When they first get into the clinch, Joku is susceptible to that, to that left up elbow. And again, the two fighters end up on the canvas. It was once, it was Pitsakas again turning Joku away and downward. Lower leg kick for George. See, now here's something that neither guy's really used to. You're, you've got a southpaw versus a southpaw right here. So at this point, they're in a position where, in, an, in a standard orthodox versus orthodox fight, their rear leg, their strong leg, lands hard on their opponent's lead leg. Typically, a southpaw is gonna be fighting an orthodox fighter, and they, they don't get that, that chance. Essentially a wash here with two lefties, two, yeah, two southpaws much. going at pretty it. Pretty much, typically what happens though is they'll, they'll headbutt each other, because neither of them is used to fighting a southpaw. There's that turn again from Pitsakis. Another nice turn and dump by Pitsakis. I'll tell you, at, th at this point, you know, end of the third round, I think, I think Joku is losing in the clinch. He's got to try to stay on the outside. He's doing well on the outside, and, and I think it's better than even for him on the outside. And we saw in the first moments of that third round that Joku, with some distance, was able to do some damage and get Pitsakis' attention. Yeah, I think, I think at this point, he's really kind of got to stay out of the clinch. You see and here with some distance in between the two. Yeah, see, there, there's two kicks banging on the shell and then a couple of punches that made good contact. Nice check. 
the head kick. But Fasakis. See, and there's that body shot right there. Uh, Joku just has kind of kind of the better timing and the better distance on the on the outside. So Fasakis, the Philadelphia native, been training in Muay Thai for more than five years. Two and a half, two plus with Rami Ibrahim. Of course, the head coach and owner of Rami Elite in Northeast Philly. And Pensakis looking to take a victory back home with him to the city of brotherly love. And again, Pensakis, no, knowing what he has done well thus far in this fight, immediately pushing Joku up against the ropes. And then using the ropes to get the toss. Strategic. Very strategic Very move, as, strategic. You would as you would expect. Yeah, you can see, Pataskas pinned him against the ropes, threw about five or six, you know, little slap knees with his right side. None of them super hard, but all of them scoring in the eyes of the judges. Then he pushes him into the ropes and used that bounce to get his own toss. It looked like Pataskas landed a left elbow right on the ear of Joku. Now it's Dylan trying to use his strength. And you can see at distance, Joku seems to be a little more comfortable with Pitsakis not letting him get comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Pitsakis knows, I think, that he's he's got to push the fight. He's got to he's got to push the fight right now. Excellent, excellent move right there. Joku pinned him into the corner, and Pitsakis lifted both of his legs, made Joku hold his weight, and then threw a spike elbow. And that is a classic move of a young man who we'll see in our main event a little bit later on tonight. Ahmad Ibrahim, the nephew of Rami Ibrahim, that is a classic move. He does that all the time to just drain the power from his opponents, drain the energy, yeah, put make all them, his make weight them on the opponent. Carry your weight. You know, really, when it comes to the clinch, you want to you want to make them carry your weight, and you want to make life as uncomfortable as possible. And Pitsakis doing just that so far, Primo, making a conscious effort to just lean and lean and lean on Dylan Joku. Four winding down, nice step and elbow by Joku at the buzzer there, but pretty well dominated round in the clinch again by Pitsakis. Yeah, Pitsakis might be pitching a shutout at this point. I mean, that, that's to take nothing away from Joku. This is a very competitive fight. It's an excellently well matched fight, but Pitsakis is, is, in my opinion, edging pretty near every round. He has it, but Joku just has not a chance to extend those arms and legs much, Primo. But yeah. Sokka just happens, has not given him any room to work. No, none at all. And I think he knew that coming into the fight. And there was that elbow to the ear of Joku. One of the better blows by Pitsakis in that round, but he really, he's done a lot of his moves just with sheer strength, just overpowering Joku and turning him. He found a good spot to hit that hook. And blocking well, there's that up elbow again. Twice. A lot of good sequences for Pitsakis in this fight. A one smile round, on his face. One round to go. He began the fight with a smile, and he's looking to end it with one as well. That's George Pitsakis. You gotta love watching a guy that enjoys fighting. So now it's Joku leaning on Pitsakis. But George switching up on the knees. Yeah, slight warning to Joku right there. He was holding the ropes on the during the clinch portion right there. So Mohal just gave him a little warning. And there's a turn and dump by Joku on the heels of a very nice body shot a moment ago. But Sakis popped right up and walked right back into the line of fire. Probably the most fired up we've seen Joku so far in this fight. Yeah, yeah, he's got to turn it up. I I think at this point he needs a finish. Perfect timing from Pitsakis again right there. Just throw a couple easy knees, lull Joku into wanting to play that game with a little slap knee, slap knee each side, and then a perfect turn. I thought I saw Pitsakis shove Kevin Mulhall away, but <laughs> I'm not sure. He just, just wants to get back in there and, and throw. Now it's Joku trying to bully Pitsakis into the neutral corner. 
Kevin Mohal breaks you it. You can see Patsakis right there on that break, looking over towards his, towards his corner. Rami Aziz encouraging him to just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. And Rami screaming for the right knee from Furious George. George throwing some lefts now as he's leaning over. There's the right knee. Joku responds in kind. Final seconds of action here. A five-round chess match between Joku and Pitsakis will go the distance as the two men land on the canvas it as ends, the bell sounds. It ends how it began. Pitsakis with a bit of a sweep. And Rami Ibrahim, all business, but he's got a big smile on his face, as does his fellow cornerman tonight, Aziz Nabi. That was an excellent five-round fight from both men, but it really looked like Pitsakis kind of had Joku's number throughout. Yeah, that's what I think as well, Ariel. Well, to look at some of the action from that fifth and final round, Primo. And again, it was, that was Pitsakis walking into the big body shot, but he shook it off. That left elbow again, and then going to work with the body with the, in the clinch, but Joku, that was the one turn and dump that he had in that round right there. After that, though, Pitsak has kind of regathered himself and did what he's been doing all night long. So we go the distance here. Pitsakis and Joku go all five. Pitsakis looking for what would be his 11th win at the Class B level, 140 pounds. Joku looking for his 13th victory. Ari Alagami with Primo Bellarosa ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom. You are watching Friday Night Fights Muay Thai, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, our 2018 fall opener. And for the winner of the matchup between Pitsakis and Joku, we go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five hard-fought rounds, we do have a winner by majority decision. Judge A sees this, 48-47 in favor of the blue corner. Judge B sees this, 46-49 in favor of the red corner. And Judge C also sees this, 46-49 in favor of Furious George, Furious George Pitsakis. So a little bit of a puzzling scorecard from one of the judges there, Primo, a 48-47 in favor of Joku. Hard to see him winning three of those rounds. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see it. Like I said, it was it was very competitive rounds, and, and they were close. Then I thought Pitsakis had it no problem at all. But the judges do give it to George Pitsakis. He does pick up the split decision victory, and he avenges that last loss in June that was still bothering him to this day. He goes back to Philly, a winner. This is Friday Night Fights.